Good evening and welcome to Tom Sick Arena on the campus of Kenyon College in gorgeous Gambier, Ohio. Gorgeous Gambier. For tonight's NCAC contest featuring the battling bishops of Ohio Wesleyan and your Kenyon College Lords. Ohio Wesleyan enters with an overall record of 12 and 11 and an in-conference record of 7 and 9. Good for 7th in the D North Coast Athletic Conference. The Lords coming in with an overall record of 1 and 22 and an 0 and 16 mark to put them in the cellar of the North Coast Athletic Conference. From Tom Sick Arena, I am Joey Chats. Here to my left is Mark DeLuke. Mark, in the last matchup between these two on January 9th, Ohio Wesleyan beat the Lords by 30. What do the Lords have to do to change the result? Well, I mean, look, there's no way to sugarcoat it. You know, a 1-22 and two, 22 record. This has been a disappointing season. They've had to deal with some injuries, especially to Ognis Zelinskis, who I think, you know, when he's been playing, he's probably been the most important player on this team, which, you know, I don't think I would have expected at the beginning of this year. I mean, the key is, again, you know, we say this sort of every time, but they're short on depth. They're not short on talent. They have plenty of players who can step up, who can make a difference. And, you know, we've seen it, again, just two games ago against Hiram College on this very floor. They forced overtime, lost 98-94. This team, um, it, you know, is capable of getting wins, and it's just been when it gets to, you know, the, the back half uh, of, of their bench when they let things slip. So it's about consistency, and it's about playing through, and hopefully um, they can get a win tonight. And the starters for tonight's game for Ohio Wesleyan, number three, Curtis White, number 10, Gabe Johnson, number 24, the leading scorer in or for Ohio Wesleyan, Ethan Stanislawski, as Ohio Wesleyan corrals the ball to begin the game. Number 32, Grant Gossard, and number 44, wrapping up the starting lineup for Ohio Wesleyan, Nick Carlson. And for the Lords, number two, Elijah Davis. As Stanislawski misses his first shot, starting Elijah Davis along with fellow freshman guard number 10, Christian Watanabe, following a very good week, number 11, Ugnius Zelinskis. Number 13, senior in his last home game as a lord, Matt Schiffer, and his Zelinskis goes into the lane and finishes the two. And finally at forward, the top five rebounder in the NCAC, guard forward number 24, Carter Powell. And Powell's been great this year again having to play a lot of positions play up especially you know really built like a three or a two he's had to play the four and the five he's responded top five rebound in the conference as you mentioned as Ohio Wesleyan gets the basket Grant Gossard right under the hoop Ohio Wesleyan does a lot of outside shooting leads the NCAC in three points attempted by and just leads by almost 64 over the next closest team as a foul is called on Ohio Wesleyan. Fouls on number 42, Nick Carlson, his first team's first. Powell takes it on the near side. Davis from three, short. And Powell gets the rebound. Watanabe over to Zelenskis. Zelenskis 4-3 is good. Zelenskis, I tell you, he's had himself quiet the last few games. La on Saturday, he had 17 points to follow up a 31-point yeah. effort last Wednesday against Hiram here at Tom Sick Arena. Yeah, he really single-handedly kept them in this one that came to the second half. They're going to need to help. Carter, Carter Powell again. As three taken from Ohio Wesleyan, and it's good from Carlson. Just under two, over two minutes into this contest, Kenyon five, Ohio Wesleyan five. Now you mentioned if you've watched, you know, Lord throughout the year, you know they've shot a lot of threes. Well, who's got them outshot by seven? They've taken 70 more, nearly 700 on the season. They'll eclipse that mark by the end of today. Lord sitting at 623 coming into today. Powell in the corner. Rims out, rebound collected by White. And the deep three is good from Gabe Johnson. Shooting 38% on 126 attempts, and if he's shooting them from that deep, you know 
Those are those aren't necessarily easy easy buckets either. Eighth in the NCAC and three three pointers made at just over two a game. Yeah, as Powell it. gets the ball in the post and fumbles it away, and the fortunate bounce as it bounces off of the leg of Gabe Johnson. And the Lords will get a new shot clock. Yeah, Stanislavski, as you mentioned, 160 attempts. He's shooting 42%. Gate, you know, mentioned Gabe Johnson. Jarrett Gerber shooting nearly 40% on 115. They got a lot of shooters. Going to be a lot of perimeter defense today. As Watanabe sets up the offense for the Lords. A lot of off-ball action on the weak side for the Lords. As Davis collects the ball at the top. So let's get a Stanislavski on him. I might just let him try to take him off the dribble. And as you said it, Mark, he does it. As Zelinskis is fouled and will get two shots. Ended a bit awkwardly on his leg. Lucky. He's able to slide off it. And Zelinskis been a little banged up this year. Glad to see him back. The foul was on number 32, Grant Gossard, his first. As the first one is good for Zelinskis. Checking in for Ohio Wesleyan, number 13, Jarrett Gerber. The shooter I mentioned, 40% from three on the year. Just another one. Yes, yeah, a very good three-point shooter. Another averages two made threes a game for Ohio Wesleyan. As the second one rims out for Zelinskis, and the rebound is corralled by Ohio Wesleyan. As the three is taken and hit. From Gabe Johnson, he's two for two from deep. Yeah, he's spotting up from six, seven feet behind the three-point line. Lords clearly either not expecting it or missing. Didn't read the scouting report because if they're going to spot up from right there, it seems pretty comfortably as well. They have to make some adjustments defensively. As Powell steals the ball, not much push action from the Lords on that steal. Zelinskis from three. It's good. His second of the day now has nine points. Again, we got a lot of three-point shooting teams. It means we're going to see a lot of running up and down. Less than five minutes in, already 20 points on the board combined. As Carter Powell is charged with the foul, they say he pushed off. Yeah, they're going to be calling that kind of light off-ball contact. That doesn't bode well for the Lords. Again, pretty thin when it comes to, you know, the bigger wings, the forwards, and, you know, a center spot. So, you know, they can't afford too many sensitive foul calls as a lot of guys are trying to have to use their body to make up for disadvantages in height and weight. And on the ball, number 34, Conrad Christian checked in along with number three, Ryan O'Neill. As another three is hit by Gabe Johnson, three for three now from beyond the arc. Yeah, I see a, a good double team by Zolinskis on Gosser, but that means that Conrad Christian's got to get out to the wing, contest the three, a second late, and three points on the board, down five. As Schifrin gets the ball at the top. Hasn't had an opportunity to take a shot yet in this contest. Davis Oliso. With the pull up from the elbow, he hits it. When Davis gets his spot, he really is confident there, Mark. Yeah, I, I, you know, it, when he gets, you know, it's sort of when they get in like a five-out set when there's no one in the paint. Wow Great shot. defense yeah. by Ryan O'Neill there. Yes. Way to keep his hands up. Yeah, strong defense. But, you know, when he isolates, he's able to take most people off the dribble, and it's just in uh, converting the shots. Ohio Wesleyan 14, Kenyon 11 as Elijah Davis Travel. travels with it. 14-34 yeah. to go here in this opening half at Tom Sick Arena. Just quick spin, but left foot came up. Absolutely. A little over-anxious there. Mm-hmm. And checking in for Ohio Wesleyan, number one, Tristan Tillman. The junior guard from Bellefontaine, Ohio. And a solid 15 minutes a game this year. Has a couple starts to his record as well. Not, not like any of the dead eye other dead-eye shooters on this roster, but we'll take a few. As he takes the three, and he misses it for Ohio Wesleyan's first missed three of the game. As Zelinskis drives and will get the foul. On number 13, Gerber. That'll be the team's third. 
The Lord's doing a very nice job of staying within themselves in this early portion of the game as Jifrin is blocked from behind. Got to know the defense. They were all around him. He was surrounded by three guys. Wanted a foul call and frustrated, but unfortunately for the Lord's, Tillman coughed the ball up. A bonus possession here for them. And back in the game for Ohio Wesleyan is Curtis White. Both teams enter the contest averaging 11.6 turnovers per game. Not actually a bad margin. Neither team, or I should say, the Lords have actually done an okay job of forcing opposing turnovers. They're actually about plus one in the category. Not spectacular, though, but oh, Woos committed about one turnover per game more than their opponents. They don't, just haven't forced a lot on the defensive end. As Schifrin misses his first three-point attempt of the game. Good defense by Davis there, putting full-court pressure there on Johnson. And Stanislavski from three. And the rebound is corralled and put back up by Grant Gossard. You know, Stanislavski warrants double teams, but if that means that offensive rebounds are going to be given up, the Lords need to be careful with it. And Davis goes up with it in the paint and hits it. Yeah, I, you know, I actually, you know, fadeaways aren't necessarily the highest percentage of shots, but, you know, Davis likes to, to take the spot up three off the dribble. I'm, I prefer that, honestly, getting space inside and, you know, with working with a lack of height, you know, often at a disadvantage, it's a good way to get space. As Gossard slams it home. No rotation on the defensive end for the Lords as they look to make some mass subs. As Ryan O'Neill goes into the lane and gets an unlucky roll as Gossard corrals the rebound. They just seem to be playing a bit out of control offensively, not getting in sets. And White misses the out of control layup as the Lords push it. And frankly, both sides. Zelinskis with it and just a little strong. White from three, as long as O'Neal gets the rebound. 12.30 left in the opening half. Ohio Wesleyan 18, Kenyon 13. As Elijah Davis pulls up from three, and he hits it three straight made from Elijah Davis after hitting, hit, missing his first shot of the game. There's something about Davis when he gets the, he just gets that look in his eye. Only 38% uh, on the year on 100 attempts. Again, that's nothing to scoff at, but it just seems like there's some time and he just locks in. And again, Gossard, with the layup on the left block, the Lords have no comeback for that so far in this contest. And Alex Lobb getting off the bench. He's going to try and push him out a bit. Alex Kate there. Oh. Oh, no. You're off on my subs. <laughs> Indeed. As Schifrin at the top of the key, spaces out the floor looking for a pick from Zelinskis off and dribbles leg. it off his knee. Bunch of substitutions for Ohio Wesleyan, number 11, Dawson Tillman, and number 33, Tim Kiefer. And for the Lords, checking in for the first time, number 42, Alex Kate, number 5, senior Tim Black, and checking back in is Carter Powell. Excuse and number 12, Kamal Abikirov, excuse me. As Tillman misses, or Kiefer, excuse me, misses his first layup attempt of the game. Good defense there by Kate. Black to Albikirov. Albikirov looking for Ryan O'Neal. I don't really know where they're going to get their offense with this lineup on the floor. Albikirov, a good spot up shooter. Carter Powell, be able to take off the dribble, but. There's not really a creator on there, out there right now. As the Lords cough up their fourth turnover of the game. As Stanislavski takes it from three and hits it. The leading scorer for Ohio Wesleyan, and you do not want him to get confident from three. As the Lords take their first time out of the contest. 10.45 left in this opening half. Ohio Wesleyan 23, Kenyon 16, here on the Kenyon Sports Connection. Welcome back to Tom Arena, Ohio Wesleyan 23, Kenyon 16, as we hit the midpoint of the first half. As Carter Powell gets it over to Ryan O'Neal. O'Neal drives, kicks it out to Alex Kate. Ball fumbled out of Abikirov's hands. Five seconds to go on the shot clock as Tim Black into the lane, spins and it rims out. A very nice move by Tim Black. Unfortunately unsuccessful as Ohio Wesleyan takes over on offense. 
Kiefer on the post, misses the left-handed layup. Great defense straight up by Alex Kate. I mentioned that last break, you know, not uh, playmakers on the floor. Looks like Christian Watanabe getting ready to check back in. Right, the best shot creator on this Lord's roster already as a first year. And as Powell goes into nice the lane finish. and finishes strong. Ran into a brick wall and still and finished. Yeah, we talked about it with the women's game, you know, Lane Davis did a good job absorbing contact and finishing there. Carter Powell, the same thing there. As the three is taken from Ohio Wesleyan and it rims out. O'Neal collects the rebound and pushes the ball up the court for the Lords. You know, as strong as the Battling Bishops are, a three-point shooting team, you, you know, you give them enough of those looks. You, you don't expect that 55% three-point percentage to hold. The Lords are actually doing a pretty solid job as Powell spots up from mid-range, rims out. You know, doing a pretty good job of hanging with them, only down five. These shots stop falling for Owu. Lords in a pretty good spot. And Owu shot over 45% from three in the last uh, meeting of these two teams. They average about 35% from three, so that game was a bit of an anomaly over the long run as the ball is in, into Kiefer. Good Kiefer defense by post. Kate. And another great defensive effort by yeah. Alex Kate. Powell over to Kate from three, and he hits it. We saw him taking a couple of those in warm-ups, and he was looking great, Mark. Yeah, and again, we talked about you know, Kate got off to a really slow start from behind the arc this season. I think it was one for 18. You know, he's up to about 20, I think, 5%, 23% now. And an offensive foul called on Stanislawski. Powell taking the charge. We're waiting, uh, getting some substitutions in. And it appears as if that call is being rescinded and being called a blocking foul as Stanislawski put forth a compelling argument to the refs after that call was made. Lords fans making their opinions known. Just a, an honest disagreement, that's all. And Very that's cordial, okay. <laughs> <laughs> as Ohio Wesleyan gets the ball back in. This is White over to Tillman. Ooh. This is the other thing. Christian out of his comfort zone having to play so far out of the paint. We'd Guard lo Carlson. Love right. to see his feet a little more active as the last second shot by Gerber is no good and Zelinskis pushes it again off the rebound. And he is blocked. I thought I heard contact. However, it will go down as a block for Dawson Tillman. As the three-pointer is taken by Carlson, yep. and he hits it again. Two for two from three. Yeah, it's just going to be hard. It's a tough matchup for Christian. Again, he's kind of you know, your standard, you know, traditional old-fashioned five. He just kind of stands in the middle of the paint. He tries to get blocks and rebounds. You get a stretch five. That's going to cause mismatch problems all day. 13 seconds left on the shot clock as Davis drives and throws it up and hits nothing with it as Carlson gets the rebound. Had Christian on the roll originally. Didn't see him, though. Carlson again from three, feeling hot. Bit of a heat check there as Zelinskis corrals the rebound and Watanabe brings it up for the Lords. Watanabe with that floater and an unlucky roll. Just want to see some sets. Again, that's three straight possessions. Just come down the floor, and whoever had it first took the shot. Indeed, and it's not like they're ahead of the defense, yeah, so no. it's becoming a five-on-five -five situation. It just becomes a bit erratic. Yeah, and, you know, I was on the call with Clayton. You were on the camera for the women's game. You know, the contrast, right? Over half their makes were assisted. Far to lay, Lords. That is the same thing. beautiful ball movement. Yeah. Leads to the Curtis White wide open three. His first basket of the game. 29-21, Ohio Wesleyan leading 6-18 left in the first half. As Albuquerque gets the ball into the paint, goes up with it, does not get the roll. Would have loved to see him kick that ball out. It's Stanislavski from three, and he hits it. Davis had a hand in his face, and it didn't make a difference. He got to close quick as the Lords call a 30-second timeout. Ohio Wesleyan 32, Kenyon 21 at Thompson Arena. We'll be back. 
Welcome back to Tom Sick Arena. Six minutes left in the first half. Ohio Wesleyan leading the Lords by 11, having led wire to wire so far. As Davis gets the ball over to Zelinskis. Back up by Powell. As Powell's getting cleared out. Driving into the lane, ball fumbled. Schifrin, Powell, one more pass. Watanabe with the right hand gets nothing on it. I don't think that should be a violation. This is a We're putting one second on the clock. So look for Schifrin off a screen, yeah. likely a Powell screen that he will then roll off of. Davis, oh, he'll just sit in the corner. As Powell in the shot is blocked. Nice job there defensively by Grant Gossard. Well, again, we mentioned Lords are doing a good job. Hanging with the battling bishops, but now with under five and a half to go, it's already now in double figures. This is the ball almost taken away by the Lords. Inside to Gossard. As the three taken by Tillman is short. A good box out by Powell as Watanabe gets the rebound. Oh, nice and read. Yeah, very nice read by White, who lays it in on the fast break. Watanabe's got to see that before it ha he throws that pass. Yeah, he you know, tried to go you know, dribble to the right to get his eyes looking the other way, but good read. And Powell, two, long two. Misses it long, and White gets the rebound. Ohio Wesleyan consistently pushing the outlet pass. If you like to shoot, you want to move quickly so the defense you know, doesn't get an opportunity to get set. They've Absol done that well so far. Absolutely, and they're happy to take any open three as we have seen so far. Ooh. And lucky for Davis that that ball was tipped out of bounds. Yeah, very easy. Could have been a turnover. A second late, I had Zelensky for a moment, then but used a pump fake instead, and then when he realized he should have thrown it. It's one thing we've noticed from Davis mm -hmm. when he is not confident in his shot and his pass, he'll hesitate. And part of his game is he's so quick and fluid in his motion that yeah. you'd rather see him just make the pass. And if it's a turnover, it's a turnover. Yeah, no, As I agree. Powell into the lane and one, almost dunks it and gets the foul. Uh, again, this is a strong, determined drive. The foul is on Grant Carlson, his second. Fourth for... The battling bishops as Powell lines it up and completes the three-point play. Coming yeah. in for the bishops, number 42, Nick Carlson. Excuse me, Mark. Yeah, I think Davis uh, looks like the, almost the perfect heir apparent to Matt Schiffer. And, you know, Schiffer in his senior year again. You mentioned his last home game on this Tom's Arena floor for the Lords. But, you know, both very similar players. But uh, both again, you know, I think there were times, especially early in Schifrin's career. Solinskis well, with a great job of going up straight. You know, when working on ball movement is definitely a part of the scouting report. As Schifrin hustles for his own rebound, and Alex Kate collects it and misses the finger roll. A loose ball on the floor. It's gotta be a jump or something at some point. Looking like a jump ball, and it'll stay with the Lords. A great hustle play both ways. Ohio Wesleyan and Kenyon. Yeah, Kate. Nice job getting the, picking the ball up in stride, trying to finish the finger roll. No go. Sticking with it, keeping the ball alive. And Just under four minutes remaining in this opening half. Ohio Wesleyan with the 10-point lead over the Lords at Thompson Arena. The ball is inbounded to Zelinskis, looking for Powell off the back screen. Into Kate. Schifrin from deep, and he hits it. And an incensed coach DeWitt calls a timeout. We got 341 left here at Tom Sick Arena in the first half. Lords down seven. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Tom Sick Arena, Ohio Wesleyan 34, Lords 27. 335 left in the first half. Back and forth contest, Ohio Wesleyan leading by as much as 13 in this first half, now down to a seven point lead. As they maneuver through, Stanislavski takes another three and misses it long. As Zelinskis gets the rebound for the Lords as he continues pushing the ball after he gets these layups. Davis driving into the lane, Kate to Schifrin for three. It's good. He's feeling it. 
Oh, he's feeling it. When Matt Schifrin starts getting getting warm, it's a good thing to watch as he's hit his last two. And again, we mentioned, you know, the Lords are reliant on, you know, someone having a hot day. You know, we mentioned Zelinskis was that guy in the game when they forced overtime against Hiram. Maybe it's Schifrin today. Gerber with the ball over to White, White into the lane. Zelinskis again doing a great job yeah. of adjusting a shot nice midair. Going straight up to no foul. And Schifrin pushes the ball. Not much movement from the Lords so far. I'm actually surprised Schifrin didn't take it. I missed space off the screen. Davis into the lane. Looked for Powell. Didn't have him. Davis to Kate. Kate in the corner. It's good. Had to rattle around the rim a bit just to make a decision. Absolutely. Had to make us a little nervous. Lord's down one. Two minutes to go in the opening half here at Tom Sick Arena. There's Johnson with the shot from the elbow. He hits it. Johnson now four of five from the field. That was his first two-point field goal he attempted. Now has 11 points. Davis takes his time bringing the ball up into the lane. Euro steps, goes up with the left shot, was definitely adjusted. Foul on Davis. And they're saying the ball was off of Davis, even though the Ohio Wesleyan player caught it and landed out of bounds. I thought that was going to be a foul on Davis. It looked like he got some arm. but Well, if that's the case, we'll take the out of bounds because <laughs> no need for Davis to get the foul. Ohio Wesleyan 36, Kenyon 33, minute 25 left in the opening half. Or it's still let to have the lead in this one. Stanislavski drives. Good help by Powell. Good recovery as well. Nice move inside, though. Great move by Johnson on yeah. the smaller shipper and used his body, was patient. And I love that old up and under. Right, wrap around with the pivot foot. Absolutely. Kept that left foot planted. Powell picks. Lords again looking for some off-ball movement to create a three-point lane. It's Kate under the hoop. A great find by Powell, and he is fouled by Nick Carlson. That'll be his second. Excuse me, the foul's on number 13, Jarrett Gerber. That will also be his second. Alex Kate back to the line. First one is good. Three for three on the game from the free throw line is Kate, a 69% shooter overall, bumping those numbers up as we speak. And the second one bounces around. Oh, rim's been helpful to him so far. Absolutely, half. we need some luck here. Kenyon, 35, Ohio Wesleyan, 38, 42 seconds. Good as stop and start. And if Stanislavski can get oh. to the paint as he steals the inbounds pass. That's a, <laughs> it's a great few moves there. Yeah, if Stanislavski is able to get in the paint, that's going to only open his game. Averages over seven threes taken every contest. So he's going to look for any open space, and he's clearly going to take what the yeah, defense gives him. His three-pointer is taken from Johnson. Kate corrals the rebound. Yeah, if you weren't out, Stanislavski averaged 16 points a game. We've seen these last couple possessions. What he can do is score with the ball in his hands. Lord's holding for the last shot as we hit the 10-second mark. Six. got to turn around. you got to be careful five. with five second here. Schifrin gets the foul called yeah, on the ground. so, And it's going to be the sixth team foul. Actually a nice foul there. A very smart foul by Curtis White. No, you have a foul to give. Again, this is where I understand that normally they, you know, they have Schifrin inbound the ball, but this is 2.8 seconds. Let's have Kate inbound. Even Powell. And Schifrin takes the screen from Powell and misses it. Back and forth first half, Mark, but... The Lord's down just five, 40 to 35 at the half here at Tom Sick Arena. We will be back in about 10 minutes with some first half stats and updates from around the North Coast Athletic Conference. We will be back soon. We've been asking ourselves what happens when a bishop and a lord get together in central Ohio. It turns out they play a nice game of basketball here at Tomsic Arena as we begin second half action. Ohio Wesleyan leading 40 to 35 as both teams bring out their starters. That'll be White Johnson as the ball is corralled by Powell. White Johnson, Stanislavski, Gossard, and Carlson 
for Ohio Wesleyan. Powell, Schifrin, Watanabe, Davis, and Zelinskis as Schifrin finishes with the left, having now made three straight field goals to get the game within three. 40-37, great start by the Lords. As the three point is taken by White. And Schifrin gets it and pushes it over to Elijah Davis. Schifrin gets the pick from Powell. Powell wide open at the top of the key. Passes over to Zelensky. Zelensky's faked. Goes from three. Rims out. Rebounded by Grant Gossert. His fourth of the game. Stanislavski. White in the corner looking for Gossert as Powell faces him up. Gossert going up strong, Powell up straight. Ball tipped away by Zelenskis and will stay with Ohio Wesleyan. After the reset shot clock, there will be 29 seconds. I gotta say, I kinda, you know, the NBA instituted a new role this year where offensive rebounds, you know, the shot clock doesn't reset to 24, it resets to 14. I'd like to see something like that in college, you know, reset to 15 or 18 instead of 30. Certainly quick in the game. Yeah, it moves the game faster, you know. Especially late in games makes it more interesting because, you know, an offense, you know, if you have the ball for 30 seconds, you hold it, you get the offensive rebound, you can take a minute off the clock. Got bodies sprawled as Schifrin takes the three, rims out, and the ball is knocked away by Watanabe. A bit of a volleyball swap there by Watanabe. Yeah, the men's volleyball team might need an outside, you know. We, do we have a men's volleyball team? We do team? not. We only have a women's volleyball team. Well, I think we got the demand now. I think so. You know, I played varsity volleyball in high school. Really? No known fact. I clearly recruited. Yeah. <laughs> As the three is hit by Gabe Johnson, his fourth of the game, now four for five from three with 16 <laughs> points. As Ohio Ooh, Wesleyan's watch that arm. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. As Powell over to Zelinskis to Schifrin in the corner. Schifrin drives nice baseline. baseline. Nice pass out to Watanabe. To Powell at the top, Zelinskis. With the left, and he makes it. Zelinski is so good at taking his time and getting the shot he yeah, wants. Yeah, it's true. He's such a deliberate scorer offensively. Yeah, it, it, it's like how Paul Pierce used to just take his time, get to his spot, and it didn't matter if you were all over him, he'd hit it. Yeah. As White misses the three. Schifrin with another rebound. His fourth of the game. A lot more energy from the Lords in the second half. Mm -hmm. Coming out firing. Powell from above the free throw line hits it. And if he's getting in rhythm with Schifrin in rhythm, this is a good sign for the Lords. Ohio Wesleyan leads by two. 17-15 left in the second half. Gotta help. Stanislavski and Foul. he is fouled. It looks like it was on the body from Watanabe as Powell swatted it away and it is on Watanabe. Yeah, nice call there by the ref. Watanabe, his first foul of the game. Stanislavski. These will be his first two free throws of the game. First two attempts for anyone. An 82% shooter hits his first. Lord's doing a nice job of making it so anyone but Stanislavski is taking the shots. That's true. He had that little, that little spurt there when he got the one finish in the steal towards the end of half number one. But other than that, Relatively quiet for him. Yeah, in the last game, he, t he tied his career high with 25 points. Shot 9 of 10 from the field, 4 of 5 from 3. Those numbers just aren't sustainable. Yeah. As Schifrin again maneuvers through too. the lane. He is just playing fantastic right now. Yeah, you want to, you know, again, final home court game of his career. Ending on a strong note. That'll be a kick on Powell, I think. As the ball bounces off of his foot. And his and Goddard's, Gossard's body is intertwined. As Albikirov checks in. For Elijah Davis, 16:46 left in the second half. Ohio Wesleyan 45, Kenyon 43. Or still haven't led since there was about 18 minutes left in half number one. I think got out to a 5-2 lead. As Zelinskis tips the inbounds, but it is corralled by Johnson. As Owu sets its offense. Foul on Zelinskis. Yeah, they're yeah. going to call him for a hold. Only his first foul. Absolutely. Oh, Lord's doing a nice job. Of staying yeah. up. There's no fouls. Only two personal fouls in the entire first half. Flip side for Owu. Nothing too, be, uh, too alarming, but Gossard and Gerber both have two fouls. That's something to keep in mind. As, uh, ball thrown away 
by Gossard, a miscommunication between him and White as they discuss it. Fortunate break for the Lords, looking to tie the game with a two yep. or potentially take the lead with a three-point field goal. Only the third turnover of the game thus far for the Battling Bishops, though. For that one, doing a great job controlling the unforced errors. Schifrin goes into the paint. He's going to kick out to Powell. Abikirov. Watanabe looking for a screen from Zelenskis. He can take drive. it off the dribble. Long, however, a foul called. It looks like an over-the-back call on oh, Albuquerque. Uh, Albuquerque, when they went up, pushed out the Bally Bishop in front of him. Whistle blows. And the third foul on the Lords in this half, exceeding their total from the first half. As Stanislavski saunters the ball over half court. And he takes a deep three, rims out. Schifrin with the rebound. Outlet pass up to Carter Powell. Good pump fake. Oh, Schiffer's wide open. Wide open three. He hits it. Can't give him that much space. Lord's lead. Absolutely, Lord's lead. 46-45 first lead since less than two minutes had elapsed in that first half. Ball's tipped by Powell at great active hands. As Ohio Wesleyan brings it in again, a oh. nice find as White gets the wide open three from the top Ooh. of the key and misses it badly to the left. Again, another rebound by Schifrin. And both teams shot incredible from three-point three point line in the first half. Lord's nearly 60. Bally Bishop's at about 50. That's already down to 40 in the second half. Yeah, on both sides, you know, whoever faces the most regression is probably going to be the one on the losing side of the column. Watanabe wide open from the top of the key. He hits it. The Lord's feeling great. Watanabe was 0 for 4 previously. Gets his first points on the board. Every, now both, every starter for both teams has gotten on the board. Largest lead of the night, too, for the Lords at 4. Lords 49, Ohio Wesleyan 45. 14.45 left in the second half. So there are 10 seconds left on the shot clock. As Gerber goes up at the elbow. And Zelenskis another rebound. Great his ninth. defensive possession. Zelenskis oh, loses the control. ball oh, and he is bailed out yeah, with a foul call. I, he'll take it, but I think he just lost his footing. Trying yes. to stop and slow down and accelerate to the hoop and just kind of got unbalanced, but very fortunate foul. First for him. The foul on Stanislavski will be his first. Checking in for Ohio Wesleyan, number 42. Nick Carlson and number one, Tristan Tillman. For the Lords, number 42, Alex Kate. Number two, Elijah Davis. And number three, Ryan O'Neill. As Davis gets the ball in the corner. Goes into the lane. Nice fake. Up with the layup. And Alex Kate gets the offensive rebound going up strong, but throws it away. Yeah, Kate okay, panicked underneath the hoop. He had time. That's all right. The first mental mistake we've seen by the Lords in this the second Lord's half. Lords going to do some full court pressure. No, I'm just going to have Ryan O'Neill, it looks like. Himself, Kate, the only player off the bench for either side to score this far, and he's a bucket away from being in double figures. He has eight, two of four shooting now, and we love to see him feeling his confidence. Yeah. A lot of times he'll get the ball in the post, at least previously, and he was a little hesitant to shoot it. So it's great progress to see his willingness to shoot the ball. Mm -hmm. As Powell does a great job wow. defending. Smith, five seconds on the shot clock, puts it up. And no good. Collecting his own rebound was Gabe Johnson. As Nick Carlson misses a layup, gets another, misses it, gets another offensive rebound, kicked it out to Stanislavski, reset it over to That's Tillman, yeah. who got the and one. Yeah. O'Neal's complaining he was straight up. He was, but the thing about Tillman went into his body and, you know, if you watch a basketball game today, you see that all the time. You know, a defender can be in position straight up, but if the offensive player goes into him, creates the contact, that call is going to go the offensive player's way. And when you're giving a team multiple chances, multiple yeah. offensive rebounds, the points moot. Yeah, it's disappointing for the Lords. You know, that was two or three real possessions of, you know, an exhibition on what you want to do defensively. Great rotation, even when one guy's out of position, a great recovery, but all falls short of the Tillman make. Tillman missed his sec uh, and one opportunity free throw as Kate gets it at the top of the key. Feel obligated to give Clayton Kaufman a shout out with the ball don't lie. Oh, amen, sir. As Kate with the three-pointer comes up short, Stanislavski with the rebound. 
For the record, Clayton Kaufman, Kenyon Zone did not trademark that term. <laughs> As the layup is made by Jared Gerber, very athletic play on the baseline. All of a sudden we're tied. At 49-49, just under 13 minutes to go in this contest at Thompson Arena, Gambier, Ohio, beautiful campus. I don't think of Davis College. is passing. And he Ooh. again shot adjusted by Carlson. Great job yeah. of going straight up. You'd like to have seen Davis go into his body as the three point yeah. was taken. Ooh, got a box out. Yeah, got a box out. Too easy for Stanislavski. And a foul, yeah, it's gonna and the ball's gonna end up staying here yeah. as that foul occurred after the shot was taken. So that should be an and one, I believe. Because I think the shot was in the air when the foul committed, so it should stand Stanislavski or I think Gabe Johnson drew the foul. He should go to the line to shoot one free throw. Granted, I know that through the NBA rules, college might be a bit different. And it's looking like they're just going to get a baseline out of bounds. No one's going to complain with an extra possession after a yeah. basket made. Ohio Wesleyan retaking the lead, 51-49. Yeah, it's Carter Powell's second foul. Inbound to Carlson. Tillman. As they're looking for Carlson inside, trying to get him to post up on Katie's. Now they're going to run a two-game, two-man with Stanislavski. Good and recovery by Davis, but stepped away for a second. Wow. Can't give him any space. Yeah, they did. A nice hedge by Kate. Davis recovered. Kate stepped away, but that half second. Wow, enough time for his trigger. Full timeout from Coach Dan Priest. Ohio Wesleyan back up five on the Lords. 12.06 to go in this second half here on the Kenyan Sports Connection. <laughs> Lords down five with 12.06 to go in the second half against Ohio Wesleyan. A back and forth contest. Ohio Dropping Wesleyan in going into a 3-2. Yeah, the first zone of this game yeah. for either contest, and we see why Stanislavski Gets the steal. Yeah, caught up a Kirov off guard. You can't leave Tillman untouched. And that's too easy off the timeout. Now the lead stretched to eight, the largest we have seen nice. since the 13-point lead as Davis takes another yeah. three. Yeah. And the rebound brought down by Stanislavski. Immediately Schifrin and Zelinskis off the bench to try to counteract it, but it might be too And another. And that one fortunately oh. rims out for the Lords yeah. as Elijah Davis slows down the ball. Hopefully the Lords can get a nice offensive possession. You know, you got to wonder if you, there could have been some more staggering done with Zelenskis and Schiffer and really two best scorers on, this floor, on the team for, for the Lords, having them both out. Fouls on number one, Tristan T uh, Tillman, who just hit the three. That'll be his first and the team's second in the second half as Zelenskis and Schiffer check back in for the Lords. Carter Powell and Kamal Abikirov to the bench. Kate takes the inbound over to Zelinskis. 15 seconds on the shot clock as Davis into the lane. Should have taken it. Yeah, absolutely. O'Neal hasn't taken a shot yet today. Excuse me, he has taken one. Three seconds to go on the shot clock as Zelinskis into the paint, up with the left, and gets the foul. Good move inside. Absolutely waited that extra half second to get the foul to get Johnson into the air, goes into the body, and gets the foul, and will have two shots from the free throw line, looking to add point twelve and thirteen to his total tonight. And the first is good. That's what you want to do, you know, when the shot clock's winding down, put it in the hands of someone who either can take a quick shot or put their head down, get to the rim, maybe get a whistle. That's exactly what happened there for Zelenskis. Grant Gossard back in for the battling bishops for number 10 gave Johnson who the foul was called on. Is that Johnson's second? First. Finished first. Zelensky's second is good. Gossard will be working with two fouls, so something to keep in mind. 57 51 bishops under 11 to go in this contest. O'Neill with the stout defense on Gerber. Right, that switches. Looking to get the ball inside. Tillman's wide open on the left corner. Lords are preparing to double team. And the ball off of Ryan O'Neal. Very active hands whenever he's in. Yeah. 14 seconds to go on the shot clock. Plenty of time for Ohio Wesleyan to set up a play. 
Stanislavski at the top of the key, looking to get him open. Pulls up and misses it right as O'Neal gets the rebound and pushes the ball up to Schifrin. Skip pass to Zelinskis. Zelinskis drives through some oh. contact and the strong baseline finish. Wow. An amazing finish by Zelinskis. Basically, he's one on two and single-handedly got that bucket. His confidence ever-growing. It yeah. is fantastic to watch yeah. this young man develop. It's really true. I'm excited to see what he's doing next year as Tillman almost pulled it from three. And again, this is a season where he missed extended periods of time due to injury, too. You know, had to work his way back from that. Wasn't able to practice for a couple weeks as well. Ryan O'Neal collects his second foul. Team sixth for the Lords. Everything from now on will include free throws. The next three will be a one and one, and after ten, it will be two. 20 seconds to go on the shot clock, just under the 10-minute mark here at Tom Sick Arena. And when you're trailing, you don't want to be the first team in the penalty. That's where the Lords find themselves now. As Tillman drives in and the strong finish past Schifrin as he was not looking to create an and one situation for him. Lead back up to six for the Bishops. Zelinskis as they're looking for a double screen for Schifrin. Kate kicks up over to Davis. Looking for the roller, the skip pass to Zelinskis. It's Kate. Oh, and he loses. Second late. Yeah, he had Kate in the corner, didn't see him until it was too late. And a nice job by Gossert of recovering. Uh, Hio Wesleyan really trying to get the ball in the paint. They have a mismatch, yeah. O'Neal and Carlson, as they switch. Smart play by Zelinskis and O'Neal. Tillman with it. Well, they got Schifrin on him. Carlson with the fadeaway, and he misses everything. Zelinskis pushing the ball, one on five, might want to take it out. Kate with the th straight up three, he hits it. Alex Kate, is that three for four that from three, three this evening? Four. We have not seen this type of performance out of this young man yet, and it could not have come at a better time with the Lords now down three with 8.28 to go in the second half. Oh, Stanislavski, he's just Ooh. He just goes straight oh, into Zelinskis and a strong finish. Nothing you can do on that. Just better offense than the defense throughout yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing how he averaged 16 points a game. Yeah, a very smart player. Just needs a little space. It's fun to watch him play. Kate. Zelinskis been a lot more neutralized once they put either Carlson or Goddard, Gossard excuse me, on him. The larger body has slowed him down as Davis goes up with the left and a strong move got him free. He looks like he's signaling to the bench though. Yeah, he's kind coming up a little yeah, limp. Some uncomfortable laying on his leg. And doing a nice job of hustling and playing through it as Carlson from the top misses it. Schifrin. Hopefully they can give him a timeout so they can get him out. I'll be off off the bench to replace him. Kate again from three. Oh my gosh, Alex Cates! What a game for this young man. Four for five from three. Missed a couple games early on this year as he goes down. And we are going to take a quick break. We will be right back on the Kenyan Sports Connection. Welcome back to Tom Arena. Alex Kate able to walk off on his own accord, as does Elijah Davis, as it looks like he was simply cramping up. Yeah, so checking in for the Lords is Carter Powell, Albakirov, and Watanabe. Yeah, usually when a player goes straight to the trainer, grabs the water ball, and is immediately getting stretched. Clear-cut sign of cramp. 63-61. Nice Albakirov looking for his first attempt. And he hits it to tie the ball game at 63 with under seven minutes to go. Like what I've been seeing from this Lord's offense these last few possessions. They are playing a very confident game of basketball. Moving, moving the ball in ways we haven't seen them do that really throughout the year. And this is going to be the problem with this lineup. Not having Kate or Christian. Absolutely. Gossard's going to be able to have a field day, six foot eight. 
And he plays bigger. He is very active. His feet move a lot better than your average NCAC 6'8 yeah. player. As Abakira pulls up from three and hits Woo! it. Giving the Lords a 66-65 lead with just over six minutes left in this contest. Abakirov hitting his last two as Zelensky steals it, goes into the paint, Euro steps yep. it, saying it off his leg, and it appears as if that was such. Yeah, had Watanabe open in the corner, Schifrin, but uh, you knew yeah, Zelensky was going to take yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's the thing. You play for the foul call sometimes. You, know, you go in, you hope you can finish through the contact or at the very least get a whistle. Didn't happen that time, and that could be one of the Lords looking as a wasted opportunity. Six minutes to go. Ninth turnover of the game for the Lords to only four from Ohio Wesleyan. Still, both teams have done a pretty good job containing the turnovers, actually. And Say make that, that five for Ohio area. Wesleyan. And Matt Schifrin dove for the ball, pointed right at the ref and called a timeout. A heady play from the senior in his last game at Tom Sick Arena as the Lords get a 30-second timeout. We will be right back on the Kenyon Sports Connection. Kenyon 66, Ohio Wesleyan 55. Welcome back to Tom Sick Arena where the Lords have a one point lead over Ohio Wesleyan with 5.46 to go in the contest as Christian Watanabe brings the ball across half court for the Lords. Carter Powell, pumping go-go baseline, looks for Schifrin from three. And it's good, Matt Schifrin. Jack tied for the biggest lead of the game for the Lords. Absolutely, 69-65, 5.22 to go. Ooh, some velocity on that pass. Oh, you gotta, oh, come on, you got to help, Carter. Absolutely, a nice finish there by Gerber being very patient along the baseline, waited until he had an opening. Schiffer sprinted down the court, was open in the corner, didn't get seen ahead, though. By Carter Watson Powell up front. As Zelenskis goes up for it, fortunate to not be called for the fouls. Gossard brought down the rebound. Johnson fakes it. Gossard, that shot will work for him because now it'll draw the defender out to the three-point line. Not a bad miss as Zelenskis brings it up after the rebound. It looks like Davis still trying to stretch a bit, but it looks like he's ready to come back in, dealing with cramps. Take it. Albikirov over to Carter Powell. Zelenskis into Schifrin. He's got Powell behind him, goes up with it. I don't know how a foul wasn't called. But a nice defensive possession, I suppose, by Johnson. That's a foul, yeah. And yeah, they're going to call the yeah. foul on Schifrin. Yeah. He hit the body, went for the ball, not a big deal. That's a frustration foul, though. Now you're making, you know, you're putting Johnson at the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. Again, the defense is held okay, but you know, Johnson's an 81% shooter. Davis checks in for Watanabe. And it's White in for Tristan Tillman. As Johnson attempts the first of the one and one and hits it. I do wonder, you know, especially as, you know, Davis, you know, in the first year, so not much tape on him, but you know, granted it's, oh, not in the penalty, so it's not an issue, but, you know, he's only shot 51% the year from the free throw line. It's been a consistent struggle for him as he misses the second of the one and one. Uh, and Powell corrals the rebound as the Lords look to set up their offense. 69 68 Lords. Just over four minutes to play in this contest. Last home game of the season for the Lords. They've got one more contest this upcoming Saturday at Allegheny. Carter Powell on the baseline. Davis with the shot clock expiring. Hits the big three to give the Lords a four-point lead. Back to four. Big shot from Davis after having just stretched out on the sideline. And credit to the trainer on that one. And Gossard at the post. The nice, nice interior pass yeah. by Johnson. To Johnson, excuse me. And yeah. a 30-second timeout called by Coach DeWitt. Kenyon 72, Ohio Wesleyan 70. 3.32 to go in this contest here on the Kenyon Sports Connection. Welcome back to Tom Sick Arena, Kenyon 72, Ohio Wesleyan 70 with 3.30 to go in this contest. A back and forth contest that has seen Kenyon lead by as much as four and Ohio Wesleyan lead by as much as 13 in the first half. Davis drives into the lane, up with the left, off the spin and an amazing finish 
not cramping anymore <laughs> is Elijah Davis. Good job by the Lords continuing to respond. They've had a couple easier shots than they'd like to allow on defense, but their offense keeping their small lead. Nice double team. Got to help, though. And a great adjustment as Kate came in. And the three goes out of bounds. Team rebound for the Lords. And we see it as soon as Kate goes in, the post is taken away for Ohio Wesleyan. As Kate was out dealing with whatever ailment he had, and we're yeah. glad to see him back on the court, Ohio Wesleyan was looking inside every time. Now we hope that they don't start just shooting threes. Yeah. However, it is good to see the impact that Alex Kate has had on this ball game. Yeah, well, I also think, you know, that last possession – Gabe Johnson takes that NBA three. He made a couple of those in the first half, but again, his coach was upset with him, and he should, you know, it's this isn't the time to, you know, take a heat check. You're down four late in the game as Schifrin draws a foul. And a really nice play by Schifrin hesitating and going into the body of the bigger Grant Gossard. Yeah, again, probably won't play an impact on the rest of this one, but if there is overtime, which are in that range, Gossard does have three, so. And the fourth team foul for Ohio Wesleyan as Zelenskis takes it to Davis. A lot of backside screens coming for the Lords. Davis, another spin nice. to his left, back to his right. Goes up with it and doesn't get the roll. Unfortunate for Davis, a spectacular move that was not able to go down. Yeah, let him take that. Again, he was thinking about it. Just let him. Two minutes to go in this contest. Kenyon 74, Ohio Wesleyan 70. Double team down low on Gossard. The ball is tipped. Powell is taken down. And the foul is called on Johnson. Or he's going to draw two more fouls to get into the penalty. And well, that's the first foul in two minutes, so. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's not a college yeah. thing. Yeah. Come on, Mark. Yeah. And Amateur mistakes. Yes, we are still working on our craft, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. As Davis brings the ball, looks for the Carter Powell screen, gets nothing from it. Got to trust the process, Joey. Oh, dear. <laughs> Because Davis with 14 on the shot clock. The Lord's taking their time. Zelenskis. They're ISOing him. This is all him. There we go. Kate to Schiffer in five seconds. Got to do something with it. Into the paint. Goes up with it. And they're Should going. Be a second it, on the shot clock. They'll put one second yeah. on. Fortunate that we don't have today. the We've tenth. Seen a lot of these. One second on the shot clock. Hey, we'll take it in yeah. this circumstance. Schifrin inbounds it to Carter nope. Powell, oh. and the ball is short. Should have been a vi shot clock violation, but White gets the fast break opportunity and sets up the Ohio Wesleyan offense as they are down four with a minute 12 to go. Johnson with the deep three. He likes it, and he hits Schifrin's it. Schifrin's hurt his hand, too. Yeah, Schifrin just jammed his finger. Full timeout from the Lords as they are up one with 1.07 to go. In this contest at Tom Sick Arena, we will be right back following this full timeout. Welcome back to Tom Sick Arena, Kenyon 74, Ohio Wesleyan 73, 107 remaining in this contest, the last Lord's home game of the year. It's going to be the first and only conference win of the season for the Lords again. 1 and 22 on the season for the Lords oh, and 16 on the in conference. Sorry. For the Lords on the floor, Davis, Powell, Zelinskis, Kate, and Schifrin all having very nice offensive games. Is Schifrin hits the floater in the paint, giving the Lords a three-point lead. Got to watch Stanislavski on any pull-up three. If he gets any space, he's going to take it, as will just about any person on this Ohio Wesleyan team. Good finish. A very strong move by White. The threat of the three is so present that the shot fake is really going to be important for Ohio Wesleyan as it goes down. In the closing seconds of this contest, we're under 30. Yeah. Oh, we'll, barring an offensive rebound, they'll get the last shot. Absolutely. Lords need to make it a th one, er, hopefully make it a two possession ball game, but we need these three points. Yeah, one point lead, not Ooh, five seconds to go. Over. He's got to put it up. Two and one. He takes it, and he hits it! Matt Schifrin! Oh! Matt Schifrin in his last game at Tom Sick Arena. Hits his fifth three, 
Five for eight from three tonight. 21 points. The Lords up four with 7.5 seconds to go. We will be right back from Tom Sick Arena. Eight point three seconds to go. Kenyon up four on Ohio Wesleyan. 79, 75. The Lords looking for their first conference win of the year. Matt Schifrin, ladies and gentlemen. This is his final home game as a senior. Eight of fourteen from the field. Five of eight from three. Seven rebounds, been pushing the ball, providing energy all night. Just an amazing performance for him, and we want to send him out properly. As the ball's inbounded to Stanislavski. He's going to take a shot quick. Absolutely. Lords cannot foul here as Carter Powell lets him through. 2.8 seconds left. Lords with a two-point lead as another timeout is called. We will be back on the Kenyan Sports Connection. 2.8 seconds to go. Lords with the ball up 79-77 on Ohio Wesleyan. Important thing to know, Ohio Wesleyan only has five fouls in this second half. So they will need two fouls for the Lords to get to the free throw line. So Ohio Wesleyan really only looking for a foul. Carter Powell will inbounds it. He is able Gotta to get move. Got to get the ball in court. Inbounds and he called timeout. timeout. Very smart play. Lords out of timeouts as they take their final a couple se uh, point eight seconds ran off the clock that will be reset we will be right back on the Canyon Sports Connection back at Tom Sick Arena 2.8 seconds to go Lords inbounding the ball it's going to be Ryan O'Neill he is able to run the baseline all the Lords need to do is get the ball in and Schifrin is fouled Point eight came off the clock. A nice job by our Kenyon College clock operators to minimize that. Lords again just need to get the ball in bounds and oh. then get to the free throw line and hopefully hit I was gonna say, one or two. You know, Got to be careful of a steal. Oh, and a Woo. smart, strong play by Carter Powell showing those strong hands. I believe Owu is two timeouts. They have a full timeout, so you know if Powell misses one of these free throws, it's only a one-on-one. -on -one. They should be able to get the ball at half court using a full timeout pretty much immediately. You are correct, Mark. Ha so, so, and it looks like we're going to have another timeout here. Full timeout from Ohio Wesleyan. Kenyon up 79-77. 1.4 seconds to go in this contest. Lords looking for their first conference win of the year. Carter Powell at the line for one and one when we get back. Lords are 1.4 seconds away from their first NCAC victory of the year. Carter Powell at the line for the one and one to potentially put this game away. Remember, if he misses it, it's just a live ball. And he misses it. And there will be one wow. second on the clock. This one second is a lot of time for Ohio Wesleyan. It's enough for a catch and shoot, maybe even a catch and a quick pass and shoot. Oh, that's playing it risky. But remember, they only need a two, so you can have an alley up towards the rim. Yeah, they'll have to go the full length of the court, though, so. Yes, all the Lords can do is hope that Ohio Wesleyan does not get lucky. They're going to have to take a shot, likely yeah. from beyond like half three, court, and they Ooh. just cannot foul. Yeah. One thing in this circumstance well, you cannot do, yeah. unless they I do mean, it on you, the you ground and mean, it is you know, a one and one. Yeah, you, you are can always. Correct. I mean, you know, I mean, it's a bold play with a two point lead to put someone at the foul line at the same time. You know, it would it depends it who gets the ball, right? I mean, it depends on the inbound, but you know. It's not the worst idea to ensure you cannot lose. Granted, could put you in overtime. However, not easy to make a half-court no, shot. No, definitely not easy. As this timeout winds down, looking at some leading scorers in this game, Matt Schifrin with 21, Ugnia Zelenskis with 15. Leading the game is Gabe Johnson with 22, likely to be one of the targets for this inbounds play. 
on the floor for the Lords. Conrad Christian checking in as he will be blocking the inbounder Johnson, who I do not believe can run the baseline in this circumstance as Christian will extend his arms the full, full arm length. Ball inbounded and Davis Again. corrals it for the Lord's first NCAC victory of the year. A 79 to 77 win over Ohio Wesleyan. What a way for these seniors to go out at Tom Sick yeah. Arena. Matt Schifrin, 21 points, five of eight from three, seven rebounds. His fellow senior, Tim Black, got in the game. Just an amazing game, Mark. Yeah, uh, I tell you, you know, it's we talked about this team. You know, it's not again. It's been the depth, not the talent. They stuck with it, fought through this one. Again, we're trailing pretty much for 18 minutes, or about 17 minutes in that first half. An incredible job, Coach Breeze talks to his senior at Schiffer right there. He'll come up right now to do an interview with Joey. And an amazing finish, ladies and gentlemen. We see the elation on these young men's faces.